Welcome, chosen one. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Ace of Place channel. It's your boy, the tired looking Anglo Saxon fascist, back with more Gwent content. Today, we're gonna play a deck that uh, I tried out a little bit on stream. I've changed it quite a bit since then, so if you were watching me on that stream, uh, this deck will definitely be very different from what you saw then. This is a deck that pretty much just exists because of the name that I could give it. <laughs> and of course it's right here on screen, so it's not like I'm not gonna sit here and drag it out. We're gonna play some Sieges. That's right, NR Siege with Regis. How is this gonna work? Uh, we had we had some decent games, but then we had some completely trash games. I don't think this new version is trying, is gonna change that. But uh, basically, what I've done since last time is I've added as much as I could of uh, of the mage package that I also have in my mage deck, which is definitely a more playable deck than this was. So maybe it is an improvement. We'll see. Uh, but. Uh, let's just see the, the the basics of the deck is we play siege We use mobilization to pull out a reinforced trebuchet triggering chapter one of the siege, which is here <laughs> And just getting decent value uh, and also Setting up two traps which makes the range draw really threatening for the opponent to play on Hopefully making them row stack just a little bit extra so we can get a good reaches um, we also have Vernon Roche, which is a spy, uh, which we can uh, play on the row, which we're going to reach just to set up a three strength unit, which is one of the trickier units to get, so Vernon Roche is actually pretty good. Uh, but through a lot of pings, we can also trigger Hengate Sword on Roche, or, you know, as a backup on something else, just to get this beautiful ability once again. It's a very strong ability, play the top two cards from your deck. And with the fact that he's a spy and we're going to reach us, that effectively negates the three points we're giving the opponent. Uh, sometimes actually making it more points for us because it allows Regis to keep going. So, Vernon Roche with Regis. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Mata and Royal Decree for consistency. Of course, Mata will get a Siege and then Regis and then Roach, which are three very important cards to get. Um, Queen Adelia is a new addition. Uh, not not the best card, but uh, like I said, I tried implementing as much as I could of my mage package, uh, which features Adelia, Operator, Shiela de Tansarville, Reinforcements, Aratusa Adepts, Citron Spellweavers, and Citron Enchantresses. Uh, of course, at the bottom here we have the classic Hammer in the Morning. Ballista, right of its Royal Guards. Now, you, you can see that there's not many Siege Engines. And there's a reason for that, because obviously we're not playing like Super Siege Heavy, where we're going to spam Bombardments, because that kind of counteracts Regis. Uh, we, we have Siege, and the one Bombardment uh, can be really good too. Uh, if, if there are quite a bit of units, so, so the odds of killing the smaller ones is a little bit reduced, uh, Bombardment can help just bring a lot of the higher units a little bit further down, making Regis spectacular. Of course, Operator can be played on the ranged row, uh, just to so we can use reinforced trebuchets to negate the negative value from the Operator, basically getting just a free extra bronze unit and the Operator body. Or we can just use it on melee row, uh, and again, hopefully negate the downside by Regising whatever we give our opponent. Uh, all in all, I, I do probably think this version is better than what we played on stream. Uh, just because the mage package does actually work really well, it seems. But uh, hopefully going to get a couple of matches. Um, this is going to be one of those decks, one of those videos, uh, where I'm probably just going to show like the matches that are beneficial to me. But I, I will, of course... Uh, let you know how things go overall, but uh, it, this is one of those decks where seeing me lose to meta shit 
is not going to be fun. And of course, this is a wacky deck. It's not high tier at all. It's not even tier 3. So, so seeing me lose with this to meta stuff, it's not going to be fun. Uh, unless I pull off a sick Regis and still lose. In which case, it can be like a tense match. Actually interesting to watch. Because, uh, you know, I'm... I'm not opposed to showing games where I lose. Uh, I think they can be very valuable. Uh, but, you know, the, the wackier the deck I'm playing, the less interesting it is to see that. And my main goal is to just make entertaining content. So, so uh, there's some behind-the-scenes knowledge. That's going to forfeit. This is not going to be in the video. Alright, the first match against Nilfgaard Soldiers Ball was a bust. I made some some misplays, for sure. But I don't think we would have won it anyway. Uh -huh, I would like to... Uh... No? Fine. So now we're against the double, the double dudes. When I do the the, the Derland Swarm. Okay, which, which streamer are they net decking with this Derland Swarm? No, it's Mill. Okay. Although, if you're Mill, that would have been a card that would have helped you. Mill. Why? Which streamer are they net decking with the Mill? Did Try not play Mill again? Oh, what did he get? Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Alright, keep going. Oh, Vernon Roach is going to be garbage. An interesting no one can hide from me. Wow. Okay. Here's our chance. Okay. Ah! You're doing great. Well, round one is probably not going to be a problem. Few folks should dare venture into the more ah! I'm just playing. Probably not going to play this ever. Doesn't seem like the best plan. Uh. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. That's nice. I might just hand Gaith here. What what else could I get from him? I mean, his Vilgaforce is currently at seven, so I would have to be able to deal five to it. To be able to hand Gaith it.
just... It's not like it matters that much. Alright, round one in the back. Since we're playing against Mill, all we gotta do is 2 0 him. I mean, honestly, if we're fast enough, we could just help him with the Mill. Like. It's been months since I played against Mill. Jesus Christ, that's a deck that does not see a lot of play for <laughs> for obvious reasons. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm sorry I'm moving around so much. I just I cannot find peace in my body right now. I don't know they Oh. I did not think about that losing me value. Ugh, Regis. Can you just mill Regis? I kind of don't want to draw him. My lumbago is acting up. That's fine. I'm gonna try setting up a, a tiny Regis, just in case. Okay. So we, we got a one, two, three. Uh, we have no more siege engines, so we can't trigger this, which is fine. Just thinking maybe we should do that, but I guess we don't. Let's see what we get. Got him. We still have four more points, so uh, there's, there's no need to pass. Yeah, there's a good chance he'll be able to get us. He does have that Vilgeforts. Double Vilgeforts even, if he wants to. Although, Vilgefort's not going to be worth that much. Because he'll burn a 6, I'll get a 4. And then he can... Uh, I'm pretty sure you should have taken Damien there. Yeah. For another 6, I get another 4. <laughs> uh, w the worst thing for us would have been if it was Tibor, because that would have just been free 13 points, but we were 30, so that would have tied us. <laughs> Stupid male players. Get the fuck out of here. 
you don't mill ace of place all right ace of place mills you or nobody mills anyone by the way i'm getting requests to play mill but i also know a lot of people would probably hate that so i don't know what to do i myself am mostly indifferent like it's 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 kind of fun to try every now and then but it's not a deck that i Really want to play, you know. Ah, the best avatar. Damn it. Yeah, that's what I think when I see you two. Thank you. Dead Eye Ambush. Well, we might actually be pretty good against that. Somehow, this deck may have a good matchup here. <laughs> Gotta love the decks with the matchups, but. Uh, we don't want to draw. Oh. We don't want too much. Alright. I'll give him yours. I'll give him your dwarf head. So it's Dead Eye Harmony. Because it sure as hell isn't Dead Eye <laughs> Dwarfs. <laughs> it's not Dead Eye Dwarfs, trust me. Keep, keep baking up those charges, boy. What? And we're fucked. As you come up. He decided to damage it and not move it. Which was actually very stupid, so... Ah... Uh, uh. Because now I can still give it charges. But maybe he's gonna nature's rebuke me again. Nope. Why you still stand. Ah! We're gonna be doing some hammering in the morning. But we're probably gonna see what's it called? No, it's going to be that, which is good, because that doesn't trigger harmony. Which means we can hammer this in the morning. Or do we just Regis? <laughs> I don't want to Regis. I don't want to reach us until it's time to reach us. And it's not time just yet. I want the full package. You know? I want a Reginald from a place of power. Can I take it in two? This will be six. I can take it in two. And now he dumps Great Oak. Okay. It would have been a little bit typical. Takes me to 17, takes him to 23. Welcome. Just playing operator for points, because that's how baller I am. Although it probably tells him that I am really, really running out of resources. 
And so he's gonna dump Great Oak. Got him. That that's that's the that's the right move. When someone plays a dead operator and still doesn't catch up, that's when you drop Great Oak. Yes. That's when you do that. <laughs> uh he probably had like Vernosial and some other shit. Uh, we we know it's we know he doesn't have Radia because this is not a singleton deck. It's not a singleton. I mean, this is a decent set of cards, playing cards. Damn it! He didn't pass. God damn, what do I do when he doesn't pass? How do I win? I mean, I guess I don't. I like the, the dwarf-centered approach to this bullshit, but uh, you'll have to excuse me if I'm not incredibly amused. Uh, I can't decree for just running Roche. I wonder if he's going all out on this one, though. Because I'm, I'm, I might be able to just punish this bleed with Regis and then just have Siege plus Leader. Why would you play that? Don't be the second trap. That's fine. Alright. Let's just set up a Regis. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, ho, ho. is the reach is big enough? Hell yeah, it is. Oh my god, sieges! Six sieges value. Oh my god, bleed punished, card up, kept leader. Oh my god. <laughs> Stupid Scoia'tael players. By the way, I know people sometimes get upset that I... I I trash talk so much. It's just like for for the video. Like I don't actually think people are stupid, just because they're playing a certain faction. And you know I make mistakes too. So I've made way worse mistakes than this bleed. Um. So so like. Per to be perfectly honest, I. You know I, no disrespect. It's just for the bit.
<laughs> this is hilarious, though. <laughs> Why, though? You scared now? <laughs> See just, see just, see just. Can I get a like, subscribe, and a see just in the comments? What you got, fam? Oh, that's nice. That's poison. Your next move shall be your last. That's that's the poison of a man who's given up. Bye. When I do the tenderizing, there's nothing left to fry. That's pretty good. But uh, I was just gonna casually trigger the chapter two, and uh... that was great. <laughs> that was great. All right. I do want to get a match where I play Regis and Siege in the same turn, same round, not same turn. Oh my god, same round. That's that's peak sieges. All right, so the previous match is another match that you won't see in the video because it's not interesting. But uh, I did get bled, bled out of everything. Uh, I I lost on even to Mystic Echo Harmony, and he bled me out of everything I had. I managed to win round two, but I had to commit everything, and I just had four bronzes left in my deck, and he still has leader. I didn't. So, yeah. I just feel like I should inform you, so even though I'm only showing you the, the more interesting, more fun, entertaining matches, you, you still uh, get an understanding of how the deck is performing overall. I, mean, I think we all know that this is not really a good deck, it's just, it's funny, and it has a funny name. <laughs> and when it does work, it's probably the best thing ever. That's the goal of this video, to show that you don't have to be, you don't have to be good, or playable, to, uh, to still be loved, <laughs> I guess. Uprising is a leader I have not seen in quite a while, mostly because NR is a faction I haven't seen in quite a while, except for when I play it, so that's nice. gonna be pleasant probably we're gonna have a, a good time having a good time um mm. that's niche <laughs> all right i am going to put down a tribiace and hopefully our two shielded engines are going to carry us this round Because if we, if we can Siege, Regis, and Double Vernon Roche in the same round... <laughs> then we're living the dream. Then we're playing some peak performance Gwent. Uh, I can't play this trap. We only need the one trap in there. So I am just going to commit... To the big boy engine game plan. Because it seems to be working. She will draw the Regis, and we'll just have the... Not a trifecta, because it's more than three. Interesting. Pew, pew! Now, we have Mata, and we have, you know... Okay. Step one, complete. Tried him dead. I mean, considering he's just one man, and he got bombarded by two trebuchets, it's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. 
Oh my god. Um, mm, 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 mm. I guess a mulligan. But at least having it in hand now allows us to aggressively mulligan and then just put that in. So we're guaranteed to not break it, which is very good. Now he's probably expecting the siege, yes, but uh, he's not expecting the reaches. They never expect the reaches. That's very good. That's very good. So my royal decree is probably going to be like a Shile or one of these mages. Just to get us going. Or keep us going, rather. <clears throat> Oh, this is one of the greatest hands I've ever seen. Uh oh. Alright. Maybe we, uh. I really want to get that M Sace out of him. <laughs> Although I don't I don't really have like massive M Sace targets. Like he's just gonna be killing an engine that would have died too. <laughs> for provision removal anyway. So uh, I guess it's not that bad. That really only punishes taller taller stuff. So that's nice. So you might just use it to protect something. Or just do that. Is it time? Or do we want to bait out some more removal first? Maybe. I think so, because the trap surviving is essential for setting up the reaches properly. So I would much rather he kill some of these lesser mages. Okay. Well, he's going to need two damage of reach to kill this. It's a Radia deck, so he probably has Forbidden Magic, right? No, just Philippa. That's brutal, to say the least. We gotta remember to Mata for Regis before we burn it. And hopefully he uses this first so he doesn't protect Vernon with it. Although it wouldn't be the worst thing. It wouldn't be the worst thing, it wouldn't be the best thing. Drop the bomb, drop the bomb. But we also need to do this before we Vernon. Vernon. So we can do this. Good. There's a really good chance we don't win this, but at least we might be able to just pull off our game plan very nicely.
I mean, he spent both of these, so that's all the removal he has in terms of that. We don't mind that at all, really. I mean, at, at this point, with all these boosted units, it would have been nice. But it's not necessary. And he's not expecting the Regis at all, because why would he? Who, who plays Regis in NR Siege? Exactly. Because we're not playing Regis. We're playing Sieges. I guess I was doomed to get bomb here at least once. But that's the nice thing. We, we don't care that much about the bombardment. Our deck is not built around the bombardment. It's built around the traps. And the Sieges. Yes, yes. No no need to worry about Regis. I don't play Regis. This is a Siege deck. Okay, so now we can Roche in the back row. He'll get pinged down to one. He should at least be pinged down to two. There's a really good chance of that. Exactly. Well, now we have trap value. So we hand gave them, put him back on the front. Life is good. Kind of dead, although we could draw into this with Roach. We also have Royal Decree, so we. If we want it, we'll get it. Uh oh. That's fine. Yes, kill that. That's your highest priority. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, we need to, to set up some units. Does have this. The nice thing is he can't play and says on melee and boost <laughs> use that on him. Not that it matters, but I think I'm gonna reinforcements of this, because this is really nice. It's a nice card for setting up reaches. And I might just decree for this, because overall it's gonna be worth more points. We're not scared of that. Fine. Trebuchets doing the work. There he is. See, it's not going to get much more value than it would have without the shield. So, yeah, not scared. Just gonna reset your bomb heaver. That'd be funny. Uh, so I got a one, two, and a three. If I can set up a four, then we can get five swings and stop Anna Stranger. Can I set up a four? I mean, I can just kill Anna Stranger. <laughs> There's no need to get greedy. There is no need to get greedy. His next unit is probably going on ranged anyway. So, so yeah. But there's there's no way to set up a four. No. So we'll have to set her to three so she dies. And then just Go for it. Is 
sieges. I mean, he has 8 damage here. Which is going to do that. And that's like a 4 point reset. Is it going to be Falibor? Gee, fuck you. Fuck you! Oh my god. And the 4 point reset. Oh. All of that, and he is still. <laughs> he still won by six points. Well, and our mid range is sick, though. It is sick. Hello. Sorry for the weird jump cut there. Uh, I played a little bit more after the last match you saw, and things did not go well. And uh, basically, I felt so defeated that I just shut off the recording and forgot to record an outro. Very professional. Um, but uh, I'm just here to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you had some fun with the concept of sieges, even though obviously it is not. it's not going anywhere. I think it's fun. It is fun, and uh, I think I think if if Northern Realms just had a uh, a decent offensive purify option, <laughs> so I didn't keep getting screwed by defenders, maybe things would have been better here. Um, I think if I'm gonna revisit this, let me know if you want want me to revisit this after making some changes. I think Hengate Sword just is too much. I think we're already crazy enough. And uh, Hengate Sword... Uh, you know, it's... It adds some difficulty to the deck and, and playing it successfully. And I don't think this deck needs that, so I, I will probably take out Hengate Sword. And... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna make those changes now. But the Hengate Sword should go, and also... I kind of feel like the Mage Package was a little bit underwhelming. Like, when it works, it works. But... I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I like Operator because we can, you know... It, it kind of works with both uh, Reinforced Trebuchets and Regis, depending on where we put it. Um, but, uh, I don't know. The, the, the only definitive change is Hengate Sword needs to go. It's, it's, it's too much. It is just too much. And... I mean... You know, I used to have Defender in here, which would go into this slot. Uh, which I guess could make some of this stuff more reliable? Uh, let me know what you think. But uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed, uh, at least, witnessing. Uh, the concept of Sieges. Uh, if you didn't catch the stream where I played this the first time, uh, this will be brand new to you, and I hope you hope you <laughs> hope it caught your interest. And like I said, if you if you want me to revisit this after some more changes and testing, uh, I wouldn't mind doing so. Just let me know in the comments and uh, like and subscribe. You know, getting really close to 7,000 subs, and that is crazy. But I'm going to head out now because I need to uh, get back to editing the video, put this outro in there, get the video out to you, and I have a couple of errands to run and some dishes to do. The glamorous life of a Gwent YouTuber, eh? Have a good one. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye. I love you.